Hey fam, what's going on? I'm Dracon Mythic. And I'm Ripcord, and together we make up Ginger in a Beard. Uh, lately we've been playing a lot of Lineage 2 Revolution, which is a uh, newer mobile MMO, and we've been pretty hyped to play it, so we'd like to fill you in on a little bit of what's going on. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about uh, the races available in Lineage 2. So most MMOs have a number of different races, Lineage Two's got four different races for Revolution. We're going to take a look at each one of those, the perks they bring, and everything you can look forward to when choosing your character. So the human race is actually really strong in Lineage 2. They have well-rounded stats, as you can see here. They're pretty balanced, not really favoring anything, but that makes them good overall. You're always going to be playing a male if you select the human race. There is no female archetype in this race. What I found from my research is they have a really strong tank. Uh, the Paladin is a, a great tank character, especially in PvP. They have strong ranged in the, uh, the Hawkeye, so the Hunter style. He's got the longest range and highest burst DPS in the game. And they have a strong healer. Uh, the Bishop is a bursty healer, so people say that he's pretty strong in PvP. And I would say this is probably the best race for beginners. If you're get, just getting started out, humans, they don't really have any weaknesses. And at the same time, they don't have a whole lot of strengths. But being well-rounded, they lend themselves to being a good character for beginners. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the beautiful elves. They have the highest mobility in the class, so they're very agile. They move quickly and they attack quickly, but they're kind of squishy. As you can see here, their HP is pretty low. The evasion and magic power are high, which is nice. Um, especially when you're, you're trying not to die, but they lack in a little bit of other areas. The The high attack speed actually comes in handy as you kind of build up these combos in the game. So the more attacks you get in, the, the more damage you can build up in your combo. And having that high attack speed allows you to build that combo quicker. As you can tell here, you're always going to be playing a female. And uh, I have to admit that the... The outfits are kind of ridiculous. There's a whole lot of fan service going on in this game. So if you're into playing the females like I am, definitely a good race for you to play. Looking at their subclasses, just a quick overview. They have the best PvE healer in the game right now. Uh, the Elder is really strong. She has a heal over time style of healing. They also have a good ranged hero and mage so if you're looking at that obviously the magic power coming in strong here for the elves and overall i feel like they have the best number of subclasses uh the thing that i thought was pretty cool was their tank gets a, a bubble like an immunity bubble if anybody's played world of warcraft the, the paladin bubble for five seconds which can be really useful when you're trying to hold a point in pvp so if you can get around the squishiness and you like to be really mobile, I would suggest playing the elf race. <laughs> Alright, the cool guys of the gang, Dark Elves, definitely one of my favorite Dungeons and Dragons races of all time. They are known for their high crit and high, um, obviously, attack here as we can see so they are a very good DPS class um, quick notes that I've seen they have the best melee DPS and the best rogue in the game and you'll always be playing a male here so we have two male classes human and dark elf a little bit of an emo look going on but that's alright make up with it with their elf ears and sweet dark elf skin uh, the thing that I found most interesting about dark elves is they use a lot of HP drain 
as uh, one of their abilities, so they get health back by doing damage, which actually came across in... As a tank, you'd be stealing health, and uh, that's actually how the healers heal, which is interesting. You steal health from the enemy and distribute it to your teammates, which I thought was a pretty cool style of healing. So if that uh, fits your fancy, definitely pick up the Dark Elves, as you would uh, not go amiss. They're pretty strong in Lineage 2. And finally, the Lineage 2 Lolly Race. Oh, I mean Dwarf. Dwarfs are always little girls in Lineage 2. They moved away from the whole scruffy, bearded dwarf that we all think of when we think of dwarfs and replaced them with little girls, which is pretty cute. Uh, except the little girls have high HP and defense. Not really what I think of when I think of a little girl. So, Dwarf in stats, Lolly in appearance, and a lot of their... Perks and buffs revolve around upping that defense, so you are going to be taking a lot of damage, not necessarily dishing it out with this race, but it makes you a great utility class. So if that's your style of play, then Dwarf is just for you, because you will never die and you'll make sure your teammates never die, which is awesome to have around. Alright guys, so we're going to continue this breakdown of all the subclasses in the next series of videos. On your screen now you'll see four different links to four different videos for each race and if you want to dive in more to learn more about their subclasses which each race has six subclasses we'll be breaking them down for you in those videos so you can get a better idea of what you want to play when lineage 2 finally comes out so go ahead and click one of those links then also if you liked what you've seen so far if you've enjoyed it if you want more content go ahead hit that subscribe button let us know what you think down in the comments we uh, definitely would love the feedback so we can keep making these videos keep getting better at them and thanks for watching thank you thank you thank you hero 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 I wanna be a hero, hero, hero.